Hello friends. Uh, today's video is just going to offer uh, some details about how I put together this drop down interchange track at the end of the layout. So uh, we'll get some close ups of the mechanics here in a minute and and show you how I put, put the thing together. It's not the only way to do it, but it just happens to be what I did because I, I used hardware that I had on hand. So uh, I'll show you all the details in just a minute. Well, first of all, the drop-down section itself is basically just a piece of plywood. And I might have been able to use a one by two, but I want to make sure it's wide enough uh, to take this, the roadbed because I continued the roadbed from the main layout onto the drop-down track. So anyway, that's Woodland Scenic's uh, foam bed being used there. So just a piece of wood of the right length and the right width. So as far as the mechanical stuff goes, first of all, the hinge here is just a simple straight hinge. So it's about an inch and a half wide or whatever size it came in. The only trick there is to get it screwed onto the framework at exactly the right height. So the top of the rails are gonna match up. Uh, mine's off by a tiny fraction of an inch, but uh, everything rolls over it okay. So uh, close enough. The other thing of interest, of course, is the support mechanism here under the, the lift up. And this is a piece of hardware that came from uh, Home Depot and it's, uh, I believe, intended to support a drop-down desktop thing like you find on roll-top desks. And as you can see, it it comes out and it's, it'll snap into position here so it'll hold. And uh, it's a little bit of stiff. You gotta give it a little, little punch to unhook it like that. But it will hold it securely if you lock it or latch it in place in the uh, up position. So uh, the other thing to note about that kind of hardware is that, uh, as you can see, when the, the track is down, this mechanism sticks out. And uh, in my case, that's no particular problem because it doesn't stick out any further than this extra scenery for, my, uh, for what I call the end plate on the, on the backdrop here. If the layout ended right here, there might be a problem with that sticking out there. So uh, anyway, this solution works okay in this particular situation. Uh, the other thing is, of course, the, the tracks are wired. So there's two wires going to this uh, drop down to power the rails. And that's pretty much it for the mechanics. It, uh, it's working okay. Luckily, this thing is already in a position where I... There's, there's no foot traffic past this location. So the fact that it sticks out doesn't uh, get in the way of anything. So this depends on your personal situation and whether this solution would work for you or not. It's working okay for me.